Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome to another vlog. I am just uh, about to do my makeup. I'm just eating some yogurt right now. I had just a crazy morning. I slept in, like I woke up at my normal time, let the dogs out and then went back to bed on the couch because I was up tossing and turning all night. I do not know what happened. I don't know if I was dreaming or if I was just uncomfortable but I did not sleep well, so I slept in, so I'm very behind on my day. Um, and I'm just gonna try to, I'm gonna take, it's actually time to let the dogs out again, so I'm gonna go take them on a walk, uh, make sure they go to the bathroom, and then I'm gonna do my makeup and then film a reel. And um, I have to film a YouTube video either today or tomorrow, the big Shein one I showed you guys in last week's um, vlog, the big box. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try not to get too overwhelmed and just make myself like a to-do list and check it off one by one, and hopefully it goes good. All right, I finished getting ready and then went and filmed a reel and now I'm just having a snack and this is the first thing I'm eating today, which is not good. I should have made myself breakfast, but I have been obsessed with these black diamond combos. They have cheese. There's like four different types, I think. This one has old cheddar cheese, sea salted, roasted cashews, and cherry infused dried cranberries. Uh-uh, get out of here. Go sit down, go sit down. Winston, that's not nice. Anyway, um, it's just like, really well-balanced snack that I've been loving. Excuse me. Um, if I wasn't vlogging, I would yell at you or take you and put you off the couch. But um, yeah, and then I'm hoping that I uh, have the time to film my YouTube video. But right now I'm just gonna take a little bit of a break because my headache is back. And it's probably just because I haven't been eating. <laughs> Need to do better. Watching Bachelor in Paradise. See forever in your eyes. Good afternoon guys, happy Tuesday. Stop chewing on him. Um, I just finished filming a reel for today is day 26 of my 30 days of fall fits that I'm doing on um, Instagram and TikTok. So I filmed that and then, hey guys, you guys are such bullies. Oh my goodness, Winston, I was already cuddling you. Okay, I'm just gonna put you both down, it's okay. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so I, uh, just in my film room right now, it's an absolute disaster. I am planning on, well, it's time to take the dogs out, so I'm gonna go take a walk with them, and then I am um, going to edit my Shein haul that I filmed yesterday so I can get that up for you guys tomorrow. So that's the plan so far. I love my hair and makeup today. I don't know what it is. Like, I didn't do anything to my hair, I just brushed it. I curled it yesterday, and I'm like, I love the low effort hair days. That's my favorite, so it's kind of where we're at. Hey, yo, BB. <gasps> Oh yeah, you wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? I get so crazy with my dogs. Sometimes I just wanna squish them till they like are in pain. Just wanna give you a big hug. Go swanky, big hug. Anyway, let's go for our walkies. All right, I just finished doing some cleaning. I've got laundry going. I just have to clean the floors, but I'm taking a little snack break. Made myself a little dip with taco seasoning and sour cream. And I'm having it with some of these chips. I'm not really hungry, but I know it's better than not eating. So I'm just gonna eat this and watch an episode of Grey's and then get back to doing some more laundry. And I don't know, I have just, I have a to-do list. Steven already ate dinner. He had a meeting with his boss. So I just made myself some grilled chicken and broccoli with some cheddar and I'm watching Bachelor in Paradise. Just chilling up here. Steven just went downstairs to grab something. But now that he put the TV in the bedroom, He's watching the basketball game up here and I just finished editing and uploading my video. So it's gonna be up for you guys tomorrow. I can't wait for you guys to sh see the Shein haul. I mean, it's okay, he's coming back um, because it is literally my favorite and it has so many jackets. Hey, it's okay. Sorry, I was laying on you like a pillow. I think he was growling at Winston though. He always does that. Anyway, <laughs> I've got a lot on my hands right now. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, happy Wednesday. Um, we are just leaving the house right now. I'm taking the dogs to the dog park because it's nice and sunny out. It's still cold, like my hands get cold, but um, I'm just gonna take them out, let them run around for like 45 minutes. And then I'm just gonna run a few errands. I kind of set that aside for today. Wearing um, the sweatsuit, well it's not an act, it doesn't come in a matching set, but it's like gray sweatpants and this top that you guys probably recognize from my Shein haul from today. Um, and I put it into my 30 days of fall fit. So this was day 27 and I put on like basically no makeup, just some like blush and, um, oh my goodness, the, uh, Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter, like luminous stuff, just to give myself a little glow and some sunscreen. And that's kind of, I guess where we're at. Um, the dogs are anxious to get out of the car. 
There's actually a lot of dogs at the park today. They're making friends. Okay. All right, we just finished up at the dog park. We were there for over an hour. There was a lot of dogs there, but at the end, dude, the creepy thing happened to me. There was this old dude and I like first I thought he was just like super friendly and I still like don't think that he was like I don't think he was being a creep but I any, anyway I was like talking to him and he was like super he was just like a classic old looking dude like not like sketchy looking if you guys know what I mean like he didn't give off any bad vibes so we were just talking blah 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 and uh, at the end he's like can I get your number and I was like I was so shocked that I was like oh sure and then he's like it doesn't freak you out like because I don't know you from Adam I'm like nope he's like because I didn't know what to say like I should have just been like no I don't know I panic in these situations and he's like is it because I'm just an older like an old dude I was like yep just an old harmless guy like I was so uncomfortable so obviously I give him a fake number um but just weird guys it's so weird like don't do that like don't ask random people like, unless you're, like, a girl and you, like, meet another girl and you're, like, friends and you know, like, you'd hit it off. But, like, I don't know. Just asking a random girl who's a quarter of your age her number is kind of inappropriate, in my opinion. It made me feel uncomfortable. But thank goodness that you can just give people fake numbers. Even though he's like, oh, I just called you. That way you got my number. So he just called some random person. That person might call him back. And that's when he'll find out. But I never have to see him again, hopefully. Hopefully he's not at the dog park next time I go. I actually, part of me thinks I might avoid this dog park completely because I don't even want to confront him if he was there. Like I would actually be so freaked out if he was like, hey, that was the, you why'd you give me a fake number? I don't know. That's why you just say no in the beginning. That's why you don't beat her on the bush. This is why I gotta get better at this. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> All right, Steven and I just took a drive because I found this little thing, actually this little organizer on Facebook Marketplace, and it is so tiny. I didn't think it was gonna be this small. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, but I'm probably just gonna use it to put like my extra makeup in. And then I still need to get like a like big shelf for the downstairs bathroom to put all like my tanning supplies and all my excessive hair products. I just need a place that like all of my products are at. Like that's kind of the goal and I thought this was gonna be bigger and it's literally teeny tiny and it's so small. But um, now we're just gonna get some food. We were going to cook, but since we decided to leave the house because I found this and everything is like a much further drive in this city, um, we're just gonna you grab just keep food. finding stuff that's on the opposite side of the city. Yeah, but honestly, no matter where I find it, it's always 25, yeah, it's always 25 or 30 minutes, so. It's not that everything's far away, it's just the items that you're finding that you want to go get are yeah. far away. I think from now on I'm going to be like, if it's not 15 minutes or less, I'm not getting it. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting literally in a bathtub. I had the strangest thing happen to me, and I feel like my vlogs are just becoming me complaining about these crazy things like health wise that are happening um ever since i got my id put in i don't know if this is related but i was literally like i just needed to go into the bathroom so i went downstairs to pee and then all of a sudden i got this excruciating pain in my pelvis like my vagina hurts so bad and i couldn't even stand up like when i walked up the stairs i was at like a 90 degree angle it was insane. Like, I literally called Steven, like, kind of panicked. He's like, dude, what's going on? I'm like, I can't even stand up straight. Like, it's I've never had this happen before. It feels similar to period pain, but way more intense and in, an, in a different area. Like, it's like 100 volts or something. So, at this point, I'm just going to laugh about it. I don't know what's going on. So, I'm sitting in a very hot bath, hopefully to relieve some of the pressure. I, honestly, guys, if you've ever experienced this, like, just in your pelvis area, but, like, so painful so please let me know if i don't need to worry about anything and if, if you guys have like you know experienced anything like it but i'm just gonna sit here for a bit and harvey's coming in to check out on me he's like are you okay mom i'm doing okay buddy so yeah i guess we'll just sit here and relax also steven got me this fairy bath bomb is what it's called and i'm like i might as well put this in here i love when he buys me bath products it's such a cute thing winston get out of here um yeah it smells so good. Steven picked up Mucho Burrito for us for dinner. This looks so yummy and healthy. I'm excited to eat this.
Good afternoon, guys. Happy Friday. I'm so excited that it's the weekend. I feel like this week did fly by, though, which I'm really grateful for um, because it was a little bit crazy and all over the place. But I just styled uh, day 28 of fall fits on Instagram. We've only got two days left of my fall series. I'm very excited. I'm a little bit sad that it'll be over because fall is my favorite time of the year. But it's nice to have a little bit of a break and like focus on something different, like winter fashion or whatever. Um, so I'm excited. But yeah, it's just been a crazy morning for me. I uh, was just cleaning and cooking. I made myself breakfast and took the dogs out and things like that, that I didn't really get around to vlogging, but I will try to vlog the rest of the day. I feel like this vlog is like really boring. I hope that you guys like don't find it boring, but I'm like, oh my goodness, I feel like I haven't really been doing a lot of interesting things like getting out of the house and like all this stuff, but I'm gonna try to share as much as I can today. Hopefully I vlog a lot, but yeah, that's basically where I'm at. All right, I just finished up some cleaning. I still have a lot more to do, but I'm drinking some freshly squeezed grapefruit juice because this, I feel like when I drink this, it like resets my body. It feels so good. Like anything citrus though, I'm a big citrus girly. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. I gotta clean the kitchen next. Okay, so I put my stuff in this thing that I picked up and guys, it's so tiny that I actually feel like I should just sell it for the amount I paid for it. But I have like my backup makeup in here, all my palettes, things like that. And I feel like it's not, like I wanted it to be enough for makeup and skincare. So it's a little tiny, but for now it's gonna work. Guys, I'm not even kidding. Every single time I make the bed, my dogs do this. There's something about a freshly made bed that they're immediately excited about. Every single time, especially Winston without fail, he normally rolls around right now. He's a lot more calm, but they're just like, yes, a fresh made bed. All right, I'm just upstairs in our bedroom area, cleaning it up a little bit, tidying it up, um, made the bed, things like that. But um, we just got news from that two of our best friends from our hometown got engaged, which is like the most exciting news. There's just something awesome about when two people that you like really care about and love get engaged or have a baby or something. So it's really good news. And also yesterday, one of my really good friends FaceTimed me and did a little gender reveal, which was so cute and so special that I was included in that. So a lot of exciting things happening, which makes me so excited to go home um, for Christmas. I don't even know if I mentioned this to you guys, but I did book my flight to go home in December, I think like a week ago or week and a half or two weeks ago. So I'm going from the 20th of December to the 30th. I'm really excited because um, since I, I missed two Christmases with them, which I actually never thought I would do. Like my, I had every intention with moving away from them that I was gonna catch a flight every single December. But um, with COVID and the travel restrictions being so serious in Canada, I wasn't able to. So I'm just really excited that everything is cleared up and I can go home, celebrate with the people I love. Steven's unfortunately, I don't think he's coming. He hasn't for sure made up his mind, but he's like, you know what? Since I was there in May, like I don't feel like I need to go. Um, like I'm much closer with my family and also like, just I have like a bunch of kids in my family. It's just different for him. And also like so many of his brothers live in different parts of like Canada. So they're never like really home at the same time. But for me, I'm like, when I go home, I see everybody. So yeah, I'm just really excited. Good boy, Winston. I find it so funny when he sits on the stairs like this with his butt up a stair. <laughs> you are so cute, Winston. <laughs> it's currently 1030 and having some breakfast. I'm just having two hard boiled eggs and I'm hoping that I boiled them like well. Perfect. I just wanted it slightly soft and I actually managed to do it this time. Um, and then I do my makeup. I gotta film. I'm gonna film the last two looks for um, the fall thing I'm doing, like day 29, day 30, I think today. And then Steve and I are planning on leaving the house and we're probably gonna get some groceries, um, things like that. Not quite sure what our day is gonna look like, but at least I'm actually feeding myself. <laughs> All right, so I just finished getting ready. I did this cute little thing with my hair today because it's really greasy, I need to wash it. Um, that I'm like hair up for the day. But guys, I created a Poshmark yesterday. I'm so excited. You guys have been asking for this for literally a year. And the reason why I didn't do it is because the downside to having a Poshmark is I can only ship my items in Canada. That's so frustrating because I know so many of you guys live in the US or different parts of the world. So for now, my Poshmark is for all my Canadians out there. You guys can shop it. I added a bunch of new things. But if you guys in the, in the US or any other countries have any ideas on how I can sell it to you guys as well, 
Or my other thing is I do offer style bundles, which is where I put something together um, for anybody, that doesn't matter where you live, out of my wardrobe and I ship it to you. So if you guys that live in the US want to go on my Poshmark and you're browsing and you're like, oh, I love these items, you can send me a message on Instagram with the screenshots and I can remove them from Poshmark and put them in a bundle to you and ship them to you in the US. So it is an option, it's just a little bit more complicated unfortunately. I've tried to do so much research and try to figure out how to do it and I can't come up with a good solution. So um, this is kind of where we're at for right now. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know I will have it linked down below. Winston, what are you wearing? Is that your dad's shirt? Steve, did you put your shirt on him? <laughs> this is funny. Hi, baby. You guys wanna to go to the park? Let's go to the park. Get down. Sit. Let me look at you. Sit. Good. Sit. <laughs> we just got back home from taking the dogs out. We checked the mail. And guys, as soon as I saw this from Toys R Us, did you guys do this as well? When you get this in the mail and you were kids, would you like go through it and then circle every single thing that you wanted for Christmas and you end up like circling the whole book and then you would give it to your mom and be like, here, when you go shopping, like take this with you. Or was that just me and my siblings? Because we did it all the time. We would always be like checking off stuff and then we would have ideas like, Literally, there's so much in here. Wait, is Toys R Us, that's a like international thing, right? This is Toys R Us Canada. Do you guys have Toys R Us? Because that's the big toy store, like where I'm at. Also got a Sephora, um, like little holiday gift guide. And it's got like all of their little kits and stuff in here. So I'm gonna look at that and see if there's anything I want. But we're doing a little unboxing and this is from Rose Forever, New York. So I don't know if you guys remember, but like, probably a year and a half or two years ago um they sent me a bouquet and it's one of those that lasts like it's supposed to last forever but i think i don't know if it's a year or forever i will list all the information that they gave me down below i'm pretty sure i have a discount code and some things like that but um this time i selected a pink one and i'm very excited to like find a place for it in my oh, film room downstairs yeah like the roses and stuff are pink. pink flowers yeah I like pink. I used to not like pink. Oh, this already looks so pretty, guys. So, um, yes, yeah, so they sent me another one, so I'm very excited to see what this one looks like because it's an entirely different concept than what I got last time. Yeah, this one comes in an acrylic box. All right. The unboxing. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. Imagine this as a gift as well for like Christmas. It's, it has a big drawer with all of Does it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a drawer here. This is absolutely stunning. Is and these flowers are real. Yeah, the top comes off. But I probably, I don't know if I'd just keep it on here for protection, but that is absolutely stunning. Like the flowers look so nice. Wow. This one I like even more than the other one I got. Thank you so much to Rose Forever New York for sending this. And I will link it for you guys so you guys can pick them up for yourself and we can be twinsies. Centers. Steve and I just left the house again. Um, we're going to go to the grocery store and then we're also going to go to this like Pixie's candy, old fashioned candy parlor that we've been wanting to go to. I've been here before. Because, oh, you have, but not me. Before we lived here, Steve so used to come here all the time. But All the time? Well, okay, whatever. When did you come here? I don't know, probably like two years ago. Oh, so it wasn't even recent. Yeah, probably two years ago. Oh, you made it sound like you have been here recently. Anyway, um, sorry, my eyelash is coming off. We, uh, I'm craving Jolly Ranchers. It's like the strangest thing. And I saw this thing on TikTok like months and months ago where they take grapes, like green grapes, and melt Jolly Ranchers and put it on them. And then they get hard on the outside. And we have grapes at home, so that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully they have Jolly Ranchers here, because if they don't, I'm going to be... the grapes are still good that we have at home. No, I tried them yesterday. They're good. So... Yeah. Someone in the camera. Where? There's a super cute candy store. I'm excited. Yeah. This is what we picked up at the candy store. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing it on TikTok with the salsa getty. And I think it's this powder and a pickle and things like that. But I'm going to try it out. Um, and hopefully it doesn't suck. But we picked up some other things. This is super nostalgic to me as a kid. And this I grew up eating because it's a Mexican candy. Steven got quite a few things. Yeah, 
just some goodies. Steve was trying to take all the elastics out of my hair and he's struggling. I'm not struggling. Oh, it's free, thank goodness. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I'm just outside taking Harvey out. It's pretty windy outside as you guys can see. I washed my hair so this is kind of <laughs> helping it air dry I guess. Um, Steven's just taking a shower and then we're gonna make some food and we're planning on taking the dogs out to the park and also we need to go to Costco get the dogs more dog food and um, run some errands I think. So, so far it's just a beautiful fall day. We're having cereal for breakfast. I'm having mine in a mug. This works out really well. Steven's having Reese Puffs. Wait a second, what are you doing? You can't have it. What? Oh, Steven's giving us ASMR. That's all you get. You have to cut it and show us the cheese pull. Give the people what they want. Steven made himself There's a not much of a cheese pull. Oh, because he puts bologna in it. It still looks yummy though, I guess. She's your baby. All right, so we got these mega sours from Pixie's Candy yesterday, and we're gonna try them out because we love sour candy, but nothing is ever really that sour. But these are mega sours, so let's see. Ready? I don't like it. Okay. Ow, it hurts. <laughs> No, I don't think I can do it. Wow. Why is it bubbly? Because you bit into it. Oh gosh. That's horrible. Oh my gosh, my mouth won't still lot. Stop. It makes you cough. The insides of, of my like throat feel raw. Give me some. Okay. I don't know if I recommend those. Oh, I don't know if that makes it better or worse. <sighs> I have never in my life eaten something that sour. Nope. That's up there. That's like top. Wow. I guess we can't say things aren't sour enough anymore. That was pretty bad. I think I'm going to bring these home for my siblings. Uh, they won't last till then. I'll eat them all. I'll buy another pack before I leave and see, and I won't tell them, it's gonna be so fun. I'm making us some taco bowls for dinner. Lots of lettuce, cause we were gonna do nachos, but I think we just wanted something that was more like a salad. So this is kind of where we're at. With it or not. I'm gonna add some cheese. Why is there a random orange on the counter? Oh, cause I was eating half of that earlier. Oh. Some cheese cheese and then I'm going to top it with more lettuce because this is a salad more finely chopped lettuce and I'm going to grab all of this and put it in here and lots of tomatoes tomatoes and this is so much better than like nachos nachos are just really heavy and then we're going to add some salsa and sour cream to the top and this looks really chaotic but that's okay all right it's getting kind of late i just put on self tanner just on my upper body and obviously i washed my hair this morning so i'm feeling like ready and i did a little like sunday reset for tomorrow because i want to start off my week strong we're going into november now so yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching that is it for this vlog and i'll see you in next week's vlog